Welcome to Simcoe Support. My name is Jason Kramer and I'd like to take you through being able to set up and backplot a fourth axis program. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and close this down for a second here. I've got a simple toolpath here, as we can see, and you can see the motion here as the tool comes in on a fourth axis, rotates around that, cuts that little profile there. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to post that code out so it pops up in our Simcoe editor. So I'm going to go ahead and say in this case, no, and I'll go ahead and replace the one I have in the file. And now we can see the fourth axis code here. So I'm just going to show you what it should look like in this case when I go to say backplot. We can see in this case it looks just like that last profile we we're looking at. So if I minimize that for a second. You can see this profile here. Now if I go ahead and I've defined a tool, I just find a end mill, a flat, a 3 16 Now I can go ahead and actually put my cursor here in this area here. And of course I can use the arrow down just to move through the motion so that we can see in this case that it is following just like you saw it do in the cam file. So it gave me a nice back plot of that actual fourth axis toolpath just like I would expect to see it on the machine. Now by default Simcoe doesn't already have that machine for the fourth set up so I needed to go ahead and create a Haas fourth. So I'm actually going to go ahead and set that up so that we can go through and see how we did that. Okay, so what I've done is gone ahead and removed that configuration so that we can actually create a new one. So we do have our code here. I'm going to go to Backplot and I'm going to look at it. We can see it kind of gives that, but that's not really that true shape. We can see it's out of round based on what configuration, what fifth or fourth axis machine setup it's using. So I'm selecting that option up here for machine configuration for the fifth axis operations. And as I look through my list, the closest I have to fourth axis is this Haas EC400. It's set up as for horizontal based on a B plus configuration with a table for fourth axis. What we're going to want to go ahead and do is we're going to want to add one for a standard fourth axis. So I'm going to go ahead and say add. I'm going to call that Haas fourth. I'll go ahead and say OK. Now we can see this comes up and when I'm going to look through the list here of either being a head head, head tilt, head 45 degrees or table table configuration we're looking for table fourth axis. Now we don't have in there a configuration picture that shows in this case a standard fourth axis. But what we want to do is we'll go ahead and stick with this configuration as we want the table fourth axis. But we don't want it to be a B plus. In this case, I might want it to be an A or negative plus based on the rotary. So I'm going to go ahead and say A plus and minimum minus and the maximum rotation being 360 degrees fully around. The L1 and the L2 are used for locking out by a certain angle, for example, being maybe I only want it to be able to support 180 degrees on the L2 being a positive direction. Now I'll say OK. And you can see that it actually conforms following a standard fourth axis. Now let's go ahead and play this operation. So I will zoom up, right click and use the mouse to move it up a little bit here. I'll hit the play button. We can see the end mill that I've defined. Come in, do the cut, wrap around, and reset itself there, the other side, and lead the toolpath out based on our physical G code and a fourth axis. So I'll go ahead and stop that. We go in to look into the backplot setup, and you'll also notice that that location is here, being our Haas fourth axis is now added to that list. I hope you find this as a helpful tool.